Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me once again. Today we've got something a little bit different. We're going to review a sound font. Uh, the sound font in question is one of my favourites at the moment. Kaseth Rogue Vader. That iconic scene, and I think I can be forgiven uh, for saying it as an iconic scene from Rogue One at the end of the film. Uh, spoiler alert, uh, although I don't know who hasn't seen Rogue One. Um, end of the film, the hallway scene, you just hear that breathing, everyone's looking in towards the darkness at the end, end of the corridor, uh, and then that crimson blade just ignites. Uh, wow, w what a scene, what a scene. One of my top five Star Wars scenes, definitely, uh, which I will do a, a video shortly on my uh, top ten favourite Star Wars moments. So without any further ado, I'll uh, jump right into it and uh, see exactly what this uh, sound font can do. So guys, again, you know the script that uh, I have with the space, I don't have much, much space in this room, but uh, I'll do my best to give you a good demonstration of this sound font. Lord Vader. Just love that ignition. Really, really nice hum, really, really nice ignition. Lovely accent swing as well. This layer saber I have isn't the best for spinning about, it's quite sharp. It is a beautiful, beautiful sound font, very, very dark, very deep hum. The accent swing is on point. So yeah guys, one of my favourite fonts at the moment, uh, it's just absolutely beautiful. I'll show you that ignition again. So we've got the on spark, all the way up to the top of the blade. I'll put my uh, settings for this down below in the, in the description, sorry. Really, really nice accent swings, lovely deep hum. Um, it's just a fantastic font, one of my favourites. So there we have it folks, that was my demonstration of the uh, Rogue Vader sound font from K-Sith. Now the font, when you purchase it, it is available and it does come in a zip file for Profi, uh, Verso and CFX. So. When you, when, you, when, you, when you buy the font, all of the uh, files come included in the zip file, depending on okay, what board. You can get them to work on other boards as well, apparently, from what I've read and what I've been told. Um, but I don't know really anything about that, so I wouldn't want to uh, put anyone out under any false pretenses as to how you can do that and what boards it, it works with. But uh, yeah, so I hope you've all enjoyed that little demonstration. Uh, next up... I think we might do code fulcrum catch you guys next time like comment subscribe may the force be with you